Coral reefs provide habitat for marine life, protection for our coastlines, and they're responsible for much of the oxygen we need to survive. But as climate change dramatically alters ocean temperatures, coral reefs are dying off at a massive rate. In the Florida Keys, Dr. David Vaughn has infused hope into the daunting task of replanting coral reefs through a process called microfragmentation. We used to take a coral this big and make two. Now we take a coral this big and make 20 to 100 corals. And in six months, they're all ready to plant again. Well, I think it's really important too to, to really understand that this is a, it's a kind of a huge breakthrough. So in layman's terms, explain to me what's really happening with what you're doing with a coral. It's basically cutting them into little pieces, stimulates them to grow very fast and in large numbers. Something happens to the coral to trigger it to grow faster if it's been hurt just like your skin. Your skin doesn't grow fast unless you fall down and break some of the skin, and your skin quickly grows over and heals over in just weeks. In order to accelerate how much new coral could be grown, Dr. Vaughn developed a mobile lab system that could function anywhere in the world. What does it take to get a lab like this built? Well, most people think about something as high tech as being in a university or a government agency and will cost millions of dollars. This is really now down to a farmer level. This is a fraction of the cost. And so literally we can produce a thousand corals in every one of these tanks twice a year. Wow, that's phenomenal. That's a lot of life for the ocean to be created right here. Well, it's one thing to hear about this, but it's another to actually go out and experience the reef, well, up close and personal. Today's mission is simple. Go out to an area of reef that Dr. Dave has been planting new corals he grew from microfragmentation. People restore houses like you know, why not restore reefs? It'll give me a chance to better understand how he hopes to plant a million corals. Well, we're here. Yeah, we ready to get wet? Let's dive in. Come on, let's go. Dr. Dave has brought me to a site where a ton of coral has died off. But rather than try to replace these large structures, he's planting his new coral on top of the existing ones. One of his other breakthroughs came with how the microfragments work together. Typically, corals compete for space, but because these new corals all come from the same DNA, they will actually connect and thrive, growing faster atop the dead skeleton. So far, it's been an incredible success and one that gives hope for the future. So what happens if we don't save the coral reefs? The cost is really us. It's a functioning coral reef. It's a functioning fisheries. It's a functioning production of oxygen. It's stopping our ability to live by the coastline and eventually the demise of our oceans this particular coral you're talking about, it can thrive in other areas besides just Florida? Well, we've tested this on both the Atlantic and the Pacific, and it works with the massive species in both oceans. And so the good news is we'd be growing Florida corals for Florida, Caribbean corals for Caribbean, and the Pacific corals for the Pacific. That's amazing. So that's your dream. That's what you'd like to see happen now. We have a solution in a package of a unit that can go to places, show people how to start up and start their own coral farm. So what do you need to make that happen? We need financial support to teach them this technology and let them continue their own. If I say I can grow a few corals, that's fine. If I can grow a few hundred thousand, that's even better. If I can grow a million, that sounds like a big task but it's actually just a good first step. If I can show people around the world how they can grow 100,000 and they can grow a million, and before you know it, we're making a big influence on a giant ocean.